Here's your receipt, sir. Will there be anything else? <laughs> We're back to Hoi 4, gentlemen. No step back is out. I'm getting early access. Thank you so much, Paradox, for giving me early access. What do we have to offer? Oh, my God. Achievement runs are back. Why am I so toxic? Because I'm playing achievement runs for two months, Alter. Why am I toxic? You don't know what I'm going through here. You don't know. I'm the face of Hoi 4 achievements. Look at this. This is what Hoi 4 achievements look like. Every viewer knows that me and the chief Borns are like uh, Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> I cannot wait to take the world to Stanatuba. Okay. Today we're doing not much fun in Stalingrad as Germany captured the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. The reason I'm playing Germany, even though it doesn't get a new focus tree, is that I want to learn the mechanics. Designing tanks, what are the railways about? I just want to, uh, the commander staff, I want to see that stuff. That's why you're seeing Germany today. As Lithuania hold the capitals of all your neighbors. <laughs> The moment I read that achievement, I had a twitch in my left eye, man. That means you have to kill everything, man. You have to kill everyone. What? As oh, man. BFK till 1945. Make a railroad from Gibraltar to Singapore. I can feel it, actually. Coming up. I don't want it to come out. I'm trying to... Come out! Hold it. Not again! Oh, my God! No step back. Uh, it looks like a really cool DLC. Big shout out. I talk a lot of shit about Paradox, but I only talk shit about certain people in Paradox. They know who they are. Uh, but big shout out to the Hoi 4 team. And we're back at Germany. We're back in Hoi 4 single player. We're back at official achievements. First of all, this all looks different. There is now Officer Corps allocated. Oh, you don't research fucking doctrines anymore. Oh, dude, that changes the research meta insanely. I think it even helps miners a lot because you don't. There's a new sound. Listen, that's new. That's new. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh, you can make a preferred tactic in battles now. That's ultra deep, man. You have a spirit of the academy, which means it's about officers. Have a, have a fifty percent chance to get plus one attack on a level up. Defense, planning or logistics. Also, there's loyalty. Uh, I thought I can just start the game. We have to actually research a lot, man. The state serves the military. Oh, that's meta. Oh, that's meta. 10% PP gain. Bro, you can use military knowledge to improve your political power, man. Motorized infantry design easier. Designing everything. I think that sounds very German. Spirit of Division Command. Static warfare, which is all about entrenching. Movement speed. I love that. I think I would like to do that on Blitzky Germany. When my orc is below 25, I lose organization less and I use mass charge more often. This looks very Chinese. Then in Navy we have um, Admirals have, this is where the Admirals have a chance to get a trade. The problem is, you know, you need more knowledge in this game or you can't be needed anymore. Like if you don't know what Seawolf is, if you don't know what Blockade Runner is, if you don't know, uh, yeah, if you don't know what that is, you're kind of like, oh, what, what the fuck? I kind of just want to start playing. So also new. Fucking supply. Oh, that's a This is a new game. Why is one orange and one isn't? Oh god, I'm such an idiot in this. One out of 171. That's trains. I have a train. They have 70 production cost and one steel. Then we have uh, two ways to go. I wonder why. This is a simplified design. So this is just the same, just 20 less production. So this is very expensive, but has a lot of armor. I don't know yet how that works. So who's attacking your trains? And then we have Dora the Explorer. Oh, so this is the, the good stuff. The, this is the thing that actually shoots. It's the planes that attack. If I have artillery too, I unlock a medium cannon and an improved medium howitzer, which is probably guns for tanks. Ah, that's po oh cool, man. Fuck, this is really good. Okay, let's really take my time here. I'm building on all the 80s. Tell me you're gonna get infrastructure there later. I don't care, dude. If you're watching Dan Lind and Hoy Four Team and whoever, you guys did a great job, man. The combat width has changed now. Yeah, how do I know now how that works? What is the battle combat width? This is actually really genius by them. You have to think about it now. Are you in the forest a lot? Then you make something that divides by 84. If you're on the plains a lot. Like, Russia is planes and... Yeah, it's also... Full. It's everything. Yeah, I mean, Rommel is now really important. Dude, this is this is just great. I cannot talk shit right now. Uh, they made this so much more diverse, so much more decision-making. PP matters more now, which I've been complaining forever. I mean, Rommel does something now and shit. This is so much better, man. And let's just play and see what happens. So let's... I always imagine what has happened in real life. I'm sitting here and I'm attacking someone and my supply sucks. Fuck this game! 
you literally have to take this because otherwise you will never ever have army xp it seems strong to take the infantry guy because you're sending infantry to spain you're booing man there's so much fury crafting now so this is a light tank two chassis and this is a new thing and very early medium tank chassis why would you ever make light tanks here why would you ever choose to make a light tank 2 over a medium 34 you get nothing you get one kilometer per hour because of production cost not that much it's so low man by next taking guderan even though i feel like i should fill this first to make the maximum army xp you then do not touch a single doctrine until you have the minus 50 percent production you never ever want to pay 100 army xp for doctrine you want to pay 85. Established by the Treaty of Versailles in 1920, the free city of Danzig has until today been an independent nation under the protection of the Polish state. However, with tensions mounting around the German-Polish border and the refusal of the Danzig government to allow Polish trade from the city port, the Polish government has declared today that Danzig is no longer a free city. Already, the streets of Danzig are being filled with Polish soldiers. Whoa! Civil war! And let's go, let's support them. Uh, send volunteers? Oh, there's new buttons! Percent monthly once. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, there's new buttons, yeah. There's also new buttons. All the buttons are different now. Preferred tactic. What the fuck? Before I click on a preferred tactic, I, I think you have to understand them a bit more, you know? Listen, so far, I think this is amazing. Because you, like, you fight France, and you're like, oh, how should I fight France? I have to change my whip. And then, oh, I'm fighting uh, Russia. I have to change my high command. This is, so far, I think this is amazing. Is Russia going communist or something else? That's a very good question, actually. Unknown focus, I wouldn't know. Oh. Oh, I'm not I'm not gonna check it. We're gonna play Russia soon. Just follow the channel and keep watching. Click the bell button, you click it! What the fuck is this symbol? Oh you can see a force attack now! You can see a force attack now on the UI! So there's a button when you design a tank where I can now make the armor up to 10, but then they become more expensive and stuff. I unlock new trains. My train my trains are more expensive now, but they're armored now. Okay. And I could already unlock good stuff. Let's do that a bit later. Bruh, so many questions. Dude, Spain is so strong. We're gonna totally lose this. Spain is untouchable. I didn't think I had to send five volunteers. But at least I've, I mean, Rommel in a second. What? That seems like a bug. What? Pussy. Yo, yo, yo. I, I don't know what just happened. Dude, Spain is getting wrecked, man. Pussy. It's not even close. Franco died, armor, that's why. Heirs, it seems a, a nation has been... Um, came out of Franco and then it was like... The nation's gone. Dude, Spain looks insanely strong. What happened to Hugo? Some focus tree stuff. We're playing on historical, man. I, I couldn't even tell you. Let's start getting our first... Ah, you need cover rating. Carl Dönitz is very good with submarines, but he's much more expensive. But this makes 20% more rating with submarines, bruh. Oh, here we go. Artillery do. Artillery do. So, look what I got, baby. And now I should have the SSSR on the Giori Zyobnev, born agitator. Looks like an easy achievement. I have so many questions. Like, imagine I want to build nice logistics here. Do I do railways or supply depots? What about inf infrastructure? Infrastructure was always important. Wait, infrastructure is now level 5? Oh, infrastructure is now... Uh, ah! And Anschluss time. Maybe before he says no, because it's unhistorical. And in 177 days, gentlemen, we're showing the highlight of this new DLC. We are going to take a look at designing our first medium 2 artillery tank. And I have no idea what's going to happen, man. Manstein should lead the 11th army. So, uh, Listen, you should lead a better life, man. No one cares who the fuck he led in real life, man. Oh, Tommy K is role-playing exact Nazi armies, man. What's the same with you, man? What's happening now? Okay, I'm taking Blitzkrieg. Germany is still very strong on doctrines, obviously. Armored cars are coming in. Everything looking good. Some aeroplane nice. You joined the war, Tommy. Oh, I did? Why would I lose war support? Because of an offensive war? Oh, I joined a war which is not touchable and... Oh, man. Let's make Bulgaria join us. He's democratic? Oh. Okay, we're fucked now, and we're always fucked. It's, pff, I'm used to it. And Anschluss is happening. Welcome, Austria. Hungary. Oh, there you go, Lexto. We're done. <laughs> there you go. And now we could invade. Ah, now we can invade. Well, Manstein has to show what he's got now. Yeah, I can build in. That's, that's new. Oh, that's new. That's cool. You can now build. That's so important that Paradox did that. Oftentimes, you, there will be bugs where your allies just kill all your supply. Yeah, we're breaking through. Give it time. It's because you have no supply. 
Yeah, but what are you gonna do about this, I wonder? So what do you do then here? I have to build supply depots or something? It's 20,000 construction, hubby be it. So, higher level railroads. So, wait, wait, wait. This is actually really important now to learn. I, what, I, what I'm missing is back in the day, you click this and then it said you have a bottleneck infrastructure in blah, blah, blah. And now it's a bit harder to understand what the fuck they want from me. Supplies bad in Austria. So yeah, what do I do about this though? I'm upgrading. Oh, oh, it's getting bluer. It's getting bluer. Okay, that's what I have to learn. Like this railway here is important. And I'm, I have motorized here and I'm upgrading Vienna. Like Vienna is... Click on that horse. Oh, there. Oh, uh, dude, I have to click on all of them. That's really annoying. So wait, am I supposed to play like this? I just do this everywhere. You can't do double trucks? Oh, what? This is so fucking deep now. Look, I'm doing double trucks now to my army. Okay, now comes the Vienna Railroad. Man, that is far more complex now. That's not how that works, boys. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck is this bullshit? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is this shit, man? <laughs> hey, did they just say no to Sudetenland? Dude, they didn't take... Oh my god, they didn't take Sudetenland. Little Entente has been... What? Yeah, I'm being declared war pawn. I didn't do shit, man. Everybody is a fucking warmonger, man. I'm literally playing peaceful. You are Adolf Hitler. Let's finish that war real quick. And then figure out how to get supply against Romania, man. Because I don't know for shit, man, how to do that. Like, in that situation, we just had you with Romania. How would I correctly create more supply for me? I built infrastructure, railways. Vienna is the greatest railway ever now. I would have to occupy this, which sucks ultra hard. Oh, Romania is gone too. I just probably make a puppet, huh? Oh, uh, really? Do you really have two fucking border guards here? Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. Awkward. Okay, so I'm... Romania is my puppet, which means fuel. Okay, so we won that war. Good. We are now this. Good. Dude, something really weird just happened. You're gonna be like, Tommy, what's wrong with you? I feel like I dreamt this once. Like, chesses existing in... Like, many years ago, I had a dream about this. Anyway, no one cares. Okay, what the fuck? And now, shit starts. This is the model, how he looks. I have small... Alter, was? Habibi, Junge. What is that denn alles? An improved medium howitzer. Then, this is the turret. Alter Schwede, what the fuck? And 25%, if you do one-man turret, you lose 25% soft and heart attack. Production cost goes up, but you don't lose anything. Reliability, 115. Reliability, why would you never, why would you not take the three-man turret? Why wouldn't you not do that? Secondary turret, radio, and special modules. A basic radio for 25% more defense and breakthrough. Special module, oh my god, this is so cool. Smoke launchers? What is the reliability you should go for? Like, should you ever go below 60 or something? There has to be some kind of... Uh, there has to be a number where you feel like I shouldn't go under that. And I think, I, in my opinion, it's 80. You can now choose if you want 20% speed, breakthrough, or bonus reliability. Dude, my speed is massively improving with the Christie suspension. Holy shit, man, what? Minus... Ah, riveted armor is very bad. That, that means production cost goes low, but you lose 20 armor. Fuck that. Then you can have 20% more production cost, but get massive armor, or you get 40 armor anyway. Wait, what? Huh? You, what? I get this for free? Diesel engine is 25 reliability, 2 fuel. Um, the gasoline engine gives you speed. Diesel is like, this thing will never break, but gasoline is like, fast, fast, fast. And petroleum electric is slow, but massive bonuses. Defense and breakthrough. And minus 50 reliability, so gasoline seems to be the best. I have too much reliability though, right? So I can turn off the 15% reliability special module and just go with something else. Oh, it's because you never did engine and armor. Ah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is so fucking good, man. Bro, this is so cool. There's gonna be so much fear crafting about this. Take diesel and then why? Oh, this is fine. I don't want him to be. Look how fast he is. This tank is insane. Dude, I'm doing that guy. Look at that. Holy shit. Medium tank, one blitz. Infantry has 250 soft attack, and this tank has 40. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Come on, Tommy. Ah, it's just one tank in a battalion. It's different. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was dumb. Okay, I will have a lot of fuel from Romania. So let's see if anyone has problems with that. Dude, they're 
every everywhere there's a problem. Habibi was the assassin. And what? That's always a problem, dude. I, I, so and now, what do I do about this? You just live with it? Yeah, I feel like just live with it. Like what? No one understands that shit. I mean, why won't you just just do, do this everywhere? I have infinite motorized, but now I have to click everywhere and do that myself. That seems ultra fucking annoying. There has to be a button to do that all at once. That is wow. Motorization priority. Ah. Ah. Pacifist Germany logistics system looks overly engineered for a game. It looks hard to understand. Who declared war in Poland? Poland declared war in Poland. Polish war on... Lithuania puppeted Poland with focus. What? Yeah, can I attack now? Okay, that should... And now supply. I really have no idea about how the supply works. Okay, we're just running him down. Because 40 woods is still crazy. Build railways to the front. Well, I've, I, I, I'm winning. And then later for Russia, I built that, I guess. I have really good supply. Yeah, I mean, if this is 100, maybe they are harder to make now, though. Who knows? This is all so interesting, man. I, I'm, I'm really having fun, man, to be honest. Because I... Oh, now, now the tanks are coming. So, how does that look like? First of all, I can take a uh, spirit. Um, planning speed 20. Let's take the, the rail gun. Oh, now we go France, but not England. England's not in this. Oh, they're the allies. So I'm going toward the allies. I have no tanks though. Thank you, Miko. Oh! Oh! Well, but, hey! Come on, what? So yeah, that should give us an aggression pact. If not, we just fight him. With the... Let, 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 to squash off from Poland. Ugh, calm down, man. We're gonna just go there. But, like, what is happening, man? I, I'm so fucking confused. Yeah, Russia looks very easy. Am I gonna get this achievement gifted, man? This looks very easy. Just don't take Stalingrad, no matter what. Capitulate the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. Be careful that your allies take it. Yeah, they will take it, though. So I'm fucked anyway. Kick from faction. That He will still be at war. Okay, Italy is gone. I'm alone at the front line now. We could maybe still save this achievement. Dude, Russia is a joke to kill. Ultra easy. Don't take any volunteers. Well, looks like we're just getting that achievement for free if i get it right now if everything works out i'm gonna start another game i'm gonna start the italy achievement to learn more so russia mid purge she's just really fucked he had a civil war minus 50 percent orc yeah it's a bit wrong by the devs maybe to allow them to attack us hungary might just uh hungary might just do it kick him from faction mimi again i just have to make sure that no one takes stalingrad do they mean the city or the state i wonder like uh i have a weird feeling some dumb shit is gonna happen it's the city how do you know that how do you know Vlaslov captured Andrei Vlaslov, he's a winter uh, infantry specialist. And we're gonna right. start removing the front line a bit here. What if I just do this? Like, like it's just an achievement. I don't have to take anything serious. Just just walk in like this, you know, fuck everything. Okay, I don't need to build anything. Russia is ultra done. They don't have anything. You got three units from Laslov. I got three units from Laslov? Oh, here, oh, what? Russische Freiwilligen Division. Oh, you get seven twos from Laslov. <laughs> Why is someone going in here? Oh. And before it's about the state of Stalingrad, I feel like not even taking the risk. Like, don't even take the state, you man. Even though I would think the achievement is meant to be about the city. Okay, I have Dora the Explorer. Dora the Railway Gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> it needs resources. It's not building. Oh, they're, like, really expensive? <laughs> okay, they're ultra, ultra unpayable expensive. So, don't I have a rail... Oh, here we go. Okay, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? You can't attach them. Wait, what? That means you get plus 10% to all stats or something. Oh my god, look at that. And now they move? Oh, that's cool. So one is enough for... for uh, depends on the region. Oh, 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 <laughs> Dude, I even too scared just to go into the region of Stalingrad. Uh, I just built these random... Like, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Yeah, here, look at that. Bam. And then I press that, and I press that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, these tanks are completely mental, man. Oh, look at these tanks. Oh, <laughs> it's a fucking inf... <laughs> and... <laughs> Just call me if you want to. Wait. So I won. Since when is Russia that... So that F... What? So let's see if I get the achievement. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Hey. What's up, going? man? How do you... Do you understand everything that's going on yet with supply? Or what? I think about 90, 95%. I get it. Yeah. Can you tell us? <laughs> I mean, I should just... If I press down, I have the achievement. One last time. But let me just check. As Germany capitulated the Soviet Union without taking Stalingrad. So the Soviet Union not got meant to exist, though. I hate doing achievements right after release because they're always buggy. Don't want to do a mistake here. Give Stalingrad to Japan? I, I guess so, yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving Stalingrad to Japan. Yay. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, achievement. Oh, God. Clenching. 
I didn't get it. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, my God. Paradox. Oh. I hear you. Ah, it says here. Capitulated the Soviet Union without taking the city of Stalingrad or having troops in any province in its state. I, I, huh? Oh. Oh, no. You've got, you've got none in the state as well. Okay. There was there not a... Oh, um, balam, oh, nee, don't let me talk. This is so scheiße, yo. Why is there... What? Uh, did you try an, an easy achievement? Because that's the way it lets you know if the achievements are alive. Yeah, let's try the Italy one. It's because the Soviet Union justified on Japan. Like, Japan took him down. Who knows? It's it's basic paradox stuff. It's... As fascist Italy have max level railways in every single core state. But so far, did you take a while understanding all this? Or did you, like, I'm instantly, happy. like, oh, I understand uh, this? My, my first game... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a truth bomb here. My very first game, I played Germany. I recorded it. And it was a complete fucking mess. So like Absolute my game. Mess. <laughs> and the video is released tomorrow and I edit out most of the terrible mistakes. But you'll see, I take out France in 1941 and I take Moscow in like 1943. So the honest truth is that was really awful for my, my general standards. You know? Have a rave of level five in all these states. That's ultra easy. So what click on do? one of your supply depots. Just click on one of them. And you've got a little pop up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can you see that top one? Upgrade railways? Yeah. So what that'll do is that will improve the railways from your capital leading to this point and push it up one level of in, uh, the railway. So let's just say ah. running from your capital to here, they're all level twos apart from one. Hitting that button will upgrade that one to a two. And if they're all two, it'll upgrade them all from two to three, then to four, then to five. And then it will be max. So therefore, the supply running from the capital to that region will be the maximum supply. That is the easiest way of boosting your supply uh, to so the front line. A, a, example, I have low supply in, in Sicily. Yep. So I click on Sicily, I click upgrade railways, and automatically every railway that matters gets upgraded, not just that local one. Correct. Ah. Now, I don't know if it improves port, so let's try Libya. Well, let's, like, let's be like really weird. Let's let's try it on uh, Ethiopia here. I could have swore that if I've hit it multiple times, it adds the port as well. Oh, yeah, it is. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. So it does it for you. So, so you don't need to use your own brain that much. You can just press this, that. I told you, this is dumb, dumb mode. That is the easiest way of doing it. <sighs> I think I get it. Uh, dude, that, also, that button is so important, actually. Oh, that button's big. Oh, it's so big. It's so big. People are saying I should do this, but you just said, like, what does this do? What What is the difference here? What What, what is this? Uh, so if you wait over time, it will actually show the checkered area to expand, but there's no extra checkered area to give you, so it's not going to do anything for you. you, you it see, doesn't really make... Yeah. Uh, this this it, this red one is getting dark red, so it's now getting reached? It's, it's, it's not very visual, I'll admit. It looks like pressing this button just makes the radius of the effect of a depot stronger. Yeah. Okay. Right, this Actually, hey, I'm almost done. I got Aburzo and Tuscany already. Uh, yeah, so it looks like you don't have to build the railroads to five everywhere, just one per state. So don't, Wait, that's don't easy make... as fuck. Well, let me check. <laughs> you think about it, that's a really just janky one railway, per isn't state. it? I think I would straight up tomorrow open with Germany again, chat. Really, I have to play a historical probably. That really bugged out. You should probably never play a historical with this stuff. It's very interesting that they've just taught me this. This is so important. You press this button. And then everything from Rome to there gets improved. That's really cool. Dude, this is ultra easy. I already have Sardinia. That's really just a joke. Yeah, we're going to have it any second now. Trust me, trust me. Achievement unlocked, man. At least they run on time. Yeah, I'll you can all do that right now, chat, in literally 20 minutes. Anyway, I gotta go. Mm. Love you, chat. Love, love you, Tommy. Talking, Bye. I love you, bro. All the best. Bye. I'm still young. Dude, Poland Peasant Revolution. It's 15 minutes. Thank you, Muro. Poland Peasants. is 15 minutes? As Poland have the peasants strike overthrow the government. Well, I don't want to spoil the rest of the tree. I want to check that in when I'm fresher and stuff. Let's just really get that real quick. Organize the peasant strike. Poland is divided by the blood of peasants. All across the Polish countryside, the peasants are becoming more homophobic, uh, radicalized by malicious EU uh, uh, governmental neglect. Ignacy Musishi is never be going to take EU money and uh, uh, to drive the strikes to violence. So must be prepared to rise against the Belarus. Poland is divided by the blood of the peasants and you have to enable them and bring them into strike. So in 93 days, I shall already have that achievement. That should be very, that's a very easy achievement too. So the Italy and the Poland achievement are really just for free. The Black Madonna is a sacred portrait of the blessed version popular among Polish lower classes. <laughs> I was, I'm looking for Polish culture. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, it's this. No, it's this. Is it this? What? Polish people, what are... Is this what you believe in? Is this the Black Madonna? Yeah, it is? Okay. And I need to win that. Well, no enemies spawn, so you just win instantly. <laughs> you have the Black Madonna as the flag. It's so cool. Oh! 
that is the real Black Madonna. That is the real one, not the one I just showed you guys live. Okay, let's just really get it real quick here. Shouldn't be a problem. Achievement unlock. As Poland have the peasants strike over for the government. GG. Well, gentlemen, I'm going to call it here today. I think the hard achievements come later. This was warm up today. I'm pretty positive that this achievement isn't bugged, and I'm going to try it again tomorrow. I don't think it's bugged, man. Tanatuva strong. Tanatuva. As Tanatuva forms Siberia, unite the Turks? Dude, Tanatuva can form more nations than anyone else in this game. What? Tanatuva is more in depth than Italy. Dude, you fucking have to kill Russia. Don't you have the basic focus tree? <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't... This was really fun, man. I really think that this DLC looks amazing. It feels like a brand new game. Anyway, man, thank you guys. I see you tomorrow, man. I'm very, very excited. This is really a fun time to be alive, man. That's for sure. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Sleep well. Bye. I kiss you on the forehead.